So, but uh, it's still not working with the, okay. So that's the presentation that we have given yesterday. And we would like to continue with what we've started with yesterday, right? And uh, we, we demonstrated in our talk, uh, for example, the, the combination of uh, SNAP with WebSockets and, uh, and, 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 and for example, a Telodron. This, we thought that this would be too difficult uh, in a real time set up here in a workshop for in just one hour, it's a bit short. Therefore, therefore we decided to uh, use some, a, a simple example. And uh, we would like to concentrate on uh, image classification and SNAP with NVIDIA Jetson. So, uh, so some technical background. So the software we are using, so the NVIDIA Jetsons, so we are using NVIDIA Jetson Nano. These are embedded computers in the size of a Raspberry Pi, for example. There is a Unix, a, a, a Ubuntu, a Linux running on it. And uh, so, and NVIDIA provides a lot of interesting software there, right? Most of it is it's open source. Uh, it's provided in Docker containers. So we used, we started uh, with the software um, provided by uh, Dustin Franklin, he is a member of NVIDIA. Uh, that's an open source repository uh, where you can basically uh, create Docker containers from and within these Docker containers, uh, then the software runs. And uh, the, art, the so called artificial intelligence, uh, or maybe better computer vision or so, um, has several levels of complexity, I would say. And I copied here some examples from uh, Dustin Franklin's fantastic training material, which you find on GitHub. Dusty NV, the NV stands, of course, for NVIDIA. Jetson Inference is the software package he is, uh, he's uh, responsible for. And uh, so the, the, the different levels or kinds of image analysis are uh, given in these five images. So on the first one, you see a polar bear. And this polar bear, uh, the image classification simply tells you on this image, there is a polar bear, right? But it doesn't tell you where it is. So you don't get a bounding box or anything. The next level would be then the object detection. So that means you could have, yeah, you get uh, bounding boxes around known objects. You can have different classes, of course, of uh, objects. And uh, then if you, for example, want to detect persons, you would... <laughs> Uh, if you want to detect persons, uh, you would get a list of objects with the, the class labels, such as a person, uh, together with the confidence information, so how sure is the system about it, and the coordinates of the, of the object itself, so the, the bounding box. The next one is then the se uh, se uh, semantic segmentation, which is a finer granular uh, image segmentation, as you can see, so you get a mask on top of these objects, and additionally, NVIDIA or Dustin Franklin also provides a pose estimation. So really, you have a kind of skeleton, which you can then train to uh, different species. And there is also the MonoDepth uh, uh, network, which uh, basically gives you depth information from a monocular camera, from a standard camera. Um, so and today, so yes, so we are mainly using object detection, in fact, but for today, we would like to use the image classification uh, software part only, but all of that is really running out of the box. So you can basically also use these different uh, yeah, analysis methods on NVIDIA Jetsons right away. So the Jetson inference package on the right side, you see a list. It has a C++ and a Python uh, so interf interfaces or implementations. So, and the image recognition or the image classification, how we call it, is uh, basically summarized under the label ImageNet. That's the software uh, basically running. We use the Python in, um, into, um, implementation and the object detection would then be DetectNet. And then you have segmentation, post estimation and so on. So, if you are really interested in that, uh, go to the, the stuff from, uh, from uh, Dustin Franklin. He is also a member of the Deep Learning Institute of NVIDIA, and uh, he's really providing excellent uh, introductory material on what AI can do in image or video stream analysis. Uh, so 
what I, I, I wanted to explain a little bit the architecture. So how, how we or how the guys basically, so Harley and Ali and Ilga, they were implementing the stuff. Um, so how, how does, how does distribu this distributed system work, right? So on the left side, we have a laptop or a PC, and there is a snap running locally on the laptop. Uh, then we have a camera connected to it, and the camera stream is then shown on the stage of snap. And on the stage, we are taking frames, and these frames are then encoded in base64. So that's a way to uh, encode images or let's say binary information to send it to uh, through a, through a, to a web socket, for example, where it then has to be decoded again. And uh, the web socket on the right side, you see the NVIDIA Jetson Nano computer. And uh, the, the team developed the web socket named classification in Python. And that receives the, the frames, unpacks it, so it makes it an image again. And then it, pa it passes it over to the ImageNet uh, software. And by default, uh, we, the, the, um, the, the, the Jetson inference software uses the Google Net uh, CNN, right? But it's highly configurable. So you can change, of course, the, the network uh, you would like to use. You can change, of course, the data sets. You can train your own data to the networks, either in transfer learning or from the scratch. So it's extremely flexible and versatile. So and uh, how does that compare to the object detection? So in object detection on the left side, oh yeah, what do you get back? Sorry, I forgot the, the most important part, which is the return path, pass the arrow from NVIDIA Jetson back to uh, snap, and you get an image label. So what is... And now it's unmuted, you know, okay. Does it work? Yeah. Okay, good. So then we can go on, right? Yeah. Uh, good. So the next slide. Uh, so what, what do we get back here, right? So and it's, it, it, it's not the images detected, but the objects on the image, right? So you get a list of objects of different classes. And uh, as a JSON uh, object, basically having, so in, in this list, you have a list of objects, you can say, and each object has a class label. So what kind of object is it? How, how confident are you about the, identity, uh, the, the, the detection? And of course, the bounding box. And the bounding box makes it interesting because then you really uh, can identify also the position of the many objects you might have on uh, on this on the snap stage, right? And it was one challenge also to do the the coordinate transformation from the bounding boxes given from DetectNet to the coordinate system uh, in the snap stage. But I think Ali made it in the end. <laughs> but he was fighting with that quite some time. <laughs> Okay, uh, so I think now we can start with the with the workshop. Is there anything to add from the theoretical side so far? Okay, so um, for the ones who are attending remotely, uh, so we sent on the can you can you maybe open uh, the the presentation the the, the 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 workshop website on the SnapCon conference, because there are the links for the registration, right? And this uh, uh, moment is here. Uh, how many people have registered from this town? Uh, so far, two. Just two, OK. So we would have still some seats for you, uh, because uh, you need a VPN connection to, con to connect to the NVIDIA Jetsons, which we have here in this room. Uh, and for the ones who are here, uh, we can just share the IP addresses with you, right? That's not a big secret. Good. The audio seems to step. Is that the yeah, actual? Old, uh, that's an old one. Okay. Okay. When did it stop working? Is there anything I should repeat? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so uh, can you explain to the people, uh, the, the external attendees, how they can uh, set up the VPN and how they how we can get the credentials to them? Yeah, sure. Hello, good morning, Tom. Yeah. 
Can you hear me? Yes. 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 Okay. Um, so, yeah, we have set up this uh, page uh, for the snap drum, so you can jump into snap.yolab.de. Snap. Snap. Yeah, and then we'll jump into this website and then we have a set of instruction how to set up in VPN. We have some prerequisites, which is part of the VPN, and you will find out this VPN installation instruction. So we are using this open VPN that will allow us to connect to our network and share the Docker containers and all the media adjustments that are here with you. So you need to basically let me show you the okay. thing. Install OpenVPN client for Windows, Mac, for Linux. Let me pull out the window. It's right here. Yeah, so you will see this. And then you need to also download this certificate, which is this file here or this file here. Then you drag and drop the certificate that you can see. Then you press connect and continue. You don't need to select the certificate, it is already there. And then you can just start looking in directly, and that gives you access to our setup here. Very good, it's very hard to understand. Okay, it's the sound difficult to understand because it's too loud or too quiet. So then if you have the VPN already, it's um yeah. If the VPN already set up, we can start some um some explanations and yeah, jump with with Gilgar and he will explain a bit more about the project that we are going to do today and I will set up all the VPN for you and I will send it for uh, early here in the chat room soon. Yeah. Uh, hello everyone. Uh, I've prepared my name is Carl. I've prepared a classification project, or I would say game for kids that can be interesting both both for kids and both for uh, in the terms of classification uh, science. I would say. First of all, if you want to follow me, you can go to this website. Snap EOLab dot e. Snap dot EOLab snap dot e. Snap sorry. Snap dot EOLab dot e. Where in the down part there is image classification game, and here is everything explained what I am going to talk. To talk. So if you are behind, you can easily catch up with me. So we can start. Actually, uh, we use offline version of Snap. So if you don't have it, I can show how, how to install. Let's go to Snap directly. Okay. So I think I want to see. Of course, I have done it already, but just to show, I, I want to do it. Okay, then you should um, extract all. Okay, I already done this step, so I will just directly jump to Snap and show you the process. Okay, these are all, all of fine version of Snap. First, uh, you should download our base project that we have also get, uh, put on GitHub. Go to uh, Snap's file downloading, the disk application game. Here's XML, you should just go to Rout and save it. Go to download and put it on your disk. Can you follow? Yes, yeah. Okay. 
So if you should use at least some more time, but just never stop. Okay. After you have downloaded it, open it in Snap. It's open. Sorry, it's not this file, it is rather this way. Okay. So here we have prepared uh, some blocks for our classification to give. Sorry, I'll check the screen. So is it if you have been able so to yeah. do Could you open it? I don't know. <laughs> yeah? Yes. Okay, so that works smartly. Yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just download the left side and open it. Uh, one second, I want to mention that this should be in a trap network for to continue because we need connection to the Okay, so there is a Wi-Fi, we, we have a, our own Wi-Fi. And uh, the Wi Fi, the name is IoT Lab Network. Oh, that's all. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. And is there anybody who wants to IoT Lab? IoT Lab. Yeah. Yeah. IoT Lab. Yeah. 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 So Okay, in our project, first we need to start video. We call it by calling um, set video capture to true. Is there anything you have to activate or script activate something? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I also got this function. <laughs> okay. Look at the audience. Yes. Yeah. Ask if I if I just yeah, if you have any <laughs> questions or any suggestions, you just leave the the scope in the because uh, I'll, I'll, I'll I'll that, that, um, I don't yeah. always give that work, so it's a bit yeah. uh yeah. new experience for me. So but it yeah. could be to stop me if that's when you want. Yeah. yeah. First of all, I always forget to activate JavaScript extensions. So please do this. Yeah. Then we start with Set video capture, we set it to true. So actually, camera, laptop camera starts seeing me. Then we set uh, video transparency to zero, to, so that the image is clear. Then zero. Set video transparency to zero. Uh, and uh, we can go to the next stage. Uh, where we uh, start to connect it to our jetson. To do this, we have special block that, uh, that is connect uh, to jetson URL. But first of all, we should set uh, variable values. First, is to set, set jetson name, set jetson name variable uh, to the IP address that hopefully you will be given. So you should have IP addresses of the Jetson that are located in the list of two. The Jetson name to IP address. IP address. Yeah, but oh, no, okay. yeah, no. Please, this is my IP address, my Jetson. If you want to use it, you will be given now hopefully IP addresses 
Okay, so, cool. So, what's the number? That comes like the other for each of the Yeah. Yeah. So, at this time, then, so, yeah, we have do you all have your IP addresses already? Uh, what about Yad guys? She... I have one, but I'm getting okay. an error message because I think I forgot. It says WebSockets error failed to construct because I have an invalid URL. Who said that? Yatka. Yatka still has a problem? Yeah. I think so. We became connecting again. <laughs> yeah, just the program. Uh, just, yeah, you also have open the thing. Yeah, you have the wiki. You can use the tutorial. Yeah. How to connect? So to I, I can also ask the, ask the question out loud. I, I type the snap.eolab thing in the username field and I type the IoT lab 18 in the password field, right? 
Yes, sir. No. no we, need to the, the, yeah. so we need to send you the username and password. It's all right. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let me start it again and I'll just keep going. I'll try it again. Okay, hopefully, all the present participants have connection to this IP and now we can connect to Jetson if I'm here. So, first we set Jetson name, uh, then we set uh, Jetson. And again, you set Rose to connect to set Jetson. And it is equal to connect to Jetson URL to plus we need, um, we need get Jetson address. So we, we need two blocks to set Jetson value. To get Jetson address, just transform this IP into Jetson name, into some web circuit address. And connect to Jetson is just use JavaScript to create web circuit instance and save it in this map. Could you, could you do this step? Set Jetson to connect to Jetson. So basically, we are creating web circuit that has that keeps connection with Jetson. Helping the people uh, and guide them through the installation. So it takes a while here for the local people to catch up. The locals. The locals. The local remotes. So Yatka. What, what do you say? Oh, really? Oh, wow, okay, yay! <laughs> so at least one of the remote attendees, Yadga, made it. <laughs> Am I sending something? Because I'm getting error messages. Oh, you get still error messages. But... It still says that my URL is not valid in Snap. In Snap, okay. Holly, do you have an idea what that is? No, you, she doesn't hear you. You can uh, use the microphone. Or is it for that you can break the
Socket or the Jetson instance, and the second is uh, video capture image. To get the image from the screen, we need a standard block of video snap on my video snap on my stage. Can you zoom in a bit? Can you enlarge the? No, not, not the stage, but uh, this one. Too. Then it is control plus, right? In, in Google. Plus. It's also on the menu log. Oh, yeah, also there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes, oh, this is a lot better. Okay, thank you. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm not going to make you laugh. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, you are too. Yeah, if we so video snap on stage just takes this uh, image of my costume from the stage and sets, sends it to uh, the Jetson. Okay. Can you follow it now? Yeah. Did you get the response on the stage? Yeah, you can turn on the response variable, visibility, and each time when you click on the image, on this block, you get this one class name. Can you do it? <laughs> but you should click, of course, you should click the set response value. What the block? Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Oh yeah, we have also some paper images, yeah. But we have real objects here as well, right? What is this? What is it? This is a hand Pomegranate. Pomegranate. Can you give a few examples of things that it can detect? What, 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 what did Yatka say? I didn't listen, I didn't hear. Can you? Yatka, Yatka, can you repeat your question or you're not? Um, can you give a few examples of things that it can detect? Because I'm in a hotel room and I need to grab stuff, so it might be easier if you just tell me what I should look for. Yeah, Rose, this is a Can I use Yeah, do you have a number? No, I, I just denied. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what is that? Two bottles. I've never heard of that. What is that? Paper towel. Match stitch. Match stitch. I see lolly. <laughs> okay. Oh, is that a cavity you're having? But the confidence is uh, only 0 0.15. Hairspray. <laughs> okay. uh, of course. <laughs> What is that? Cookie. Why? What's that? A conch. I've never heard of that. Can you do it again? It's not a chip for me. The root. What is that? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Again? Oh, water, water. Go on. Come here, go on. Right. You can go on. So next step. Next step will be to put it into some like a group, so that not to do this manually, but to do some automation. You can use liquid too, or I would say rather liquid until. And we should use I, I use key plus. So you can use any key, but I prefer two. Two. The key comes in two uh, buttons. This that responds to the same picture again, the same block, and waits the seconds. So you need a short break. Yeah. Otherwise, you would have a continuous stream of information, and uh, it's better to wait a few seconds, one, two, three seconds or so. I will set a little, little bit higher. Um, one second. Okay. And the next step after this, if you are all done, you can use speech model. So if you type here speech, speak of so I'm stopping it. And we, we should get practically the second item of the first row. So to do it, in Snap there is a row, item one of, and we just copy, use it twice, and we say we need this value, uh, class, not class name, but class name value. 
medicine, I don't know something. <laughs> Whatever that is. Yeah. And we use item two of item one. Mm -hmm. And uh, we need the as a source of information we need this form. So it says speak item two of item one of this form. Basically medicine uh, something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Uh, maybe one of them will increase the volume. Mm -hmm. I think it's a problem. Ah, it's one of the steam. Ah. Is that good? Yeah, it's the same thing yeah. for me. But you can look here. Maybe you don't want to it. It's yeah. working. It's working. Yeah. It's working. It's working. It's working. Yeah. So what are we hearing now in here? Because the HDMI. I just going to the HDMI. Not the HDMI. Can't get the HDMI. Yeah, I can't hear. Yeah. Shower cap. Shower cap. What's that? You have to go to. You have to go to the barber. You need a haircut. <laughs> Shower cap. What is it? Banana. Banana. Safe. Safe. Ice lolly. Ice lolly. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not a mouse. <laughs> It says cash machine here, but it's out of sync. Maybe we have to wait until this is over, right? I think it's all the overflow. So one of the problems was now that uh, the object detection, so because we waited just three seconds, is faster than the speed output, the voice output, and therefore we had an overflow. So there is a queue of words in the in the in the queue, and uh, so it's out of sync. So it's better to wait until the audio output is over, the speed output. Let's try to use another book, not speed, but speed and wait. So speed and wait. You can use the block speed and wait. Yeah, you can also use the So we are going on. I 
if you have done that problem right here, you can go on. Yes. So the next step actually should be image classification game part two. You can see the wiki, but we have a bit limited in time, so I would suggest just to download this result file of this game and work and play with it. Yeah. So to download it, just go down the page to the last link that I, I provided. And download this XML file to your laptop. Which one? Yeah, yeah. What, this one. You can download the game from here. Please download it. It's just so it's the EOLAB wiki. So snap.eolab.de. Scroll down. Download. I would suggest right click save as, right? Scroll down. And I think it's better to um, right click and save as, so otherwise, yeah, yeah. 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 You, you should up, this, this page opens and you go around and you like this and save as. Yeah. And save it on your laptop somewhere. Can you download this file? Okay, if you have downloaded this file, just open it in Snap. Go to File icon and open. Open and open this. Uh, okay, I think this is it. Yes. So this is small game that we have to, to be open all the time. Did everyone open it? No problem. So to start, basically the, here are the same principles that I just showed, but it's in the form of game for children. <laughs> it's your hairstyle. I think so. <laughs> it's a show. <laughs> so to start the game, <laughs> you are start the game. Yes. You have to change the IP address, yeah, right? Yeah. If you download the game, change it to your IP address. Okay. So my IP address. So this is my IP address. I change it to first. I run start video, of course, and now I can see myself. Okay. But in Samsung, this is okay. Then I. Connect to Jetson, set, set Jetson name and connect it. And then I click flag and then I click start. So our um, game officially starts. No? Oh, this was the problem of uh, when you use the block without the weight. Yeah. Then uh, it fills. Or I don't know who of you. Then then it fills the the pipe, yeah. the message queue, yeah. and then it, it's out of sync because then the the speech output sometimes takes longer than the three seconds we give it. Yeah. 
What is what is the address of uh, Erga? <laughs> Basically, this game is based on the what I already showed, but we have additional uh, slides, as you see, and each slide just has a speaking block and some playing block. And of course, it has an animate block, but animate block is pretty simple. It's just gliding the slide up and down. But the main magic is happening here, and I've already showed how, how it is going on, how it works. So, based on this, you can, of course, uh, develop own things, own uh, approach for yeah. children yeah. and do more funny stuff. So, how does the game work? What does it do? What is the interaction? So, interaction is first you get, of course, response, then you get class name, class name from the response, and then you analyze fan class. So, analyze fan class is just complaining of class name. With the animation, animal food meat. Yeah, but what do we have? All right, I'm sorry to interrupt, but we have one minute left and for this presentation, and we're going to be followed by a 15 minute break, which will be followed by the history of meta programming by Brian Harvey. So you don't want to miss that. Um, if the team has any last words, you can feel free to unmute and share with everyone who is watching remotely. Otherwise, thank you for coming and have a great day.